waiting waiting has not been something sweet to everybody not all of us enjoy the process of waiting and mark you the, the process of waiting is always the shortest distance to us succeeding but more give up nearly towards the end of our waiting period so today we're going to talk about that waiting period why people give up close to their victory point and i'm joined with my brother whom we are conversant with and you always see us as a regular viewer and uh, our guest for today is let him introduce himself as we jump straight to this topic right away after this commercial short break this live podcast is sponsored by zone printers they are professional branding and printing company offering vast range of printing and branding services at affordable rates for more information check out their service catalog and contact through their social media pages at zone printers zone printers your printing expert welcome back after this commercial break and uh, my dear brother you can introduce yourself and let the guys know more about you okay thank you how are you doing great thank you for Super inviting great. me today mm-hmm. my day was great yeah I'm, I'm so happy to be present today here mm-hmm. so that you may share to our colleagues yeah. outside there yeah about many things that happen during this uh, waiting period mm-hmm. And uh, because you had already spoken about the topic, yeah. let's just, just jump in to this topic. Mm-hmm. Now, waiting. Waiting is a period when you are expecting for an answer. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily a time which is, which is not time bound. Mm-hmm. Because many, mm-hmm. as we know, as Christians, people, they pray long, 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 but still waiting in that. So, but in between, mm-hmm. many tend to give up. Okay. And uh, that's why we are here mm-hmm. to talk more about this. So you want to say waiting is a period between asking and receiving. Yes. The space in between. Yeah. So within that space of asking and, uh, and receiving... What do you think a person should be doing and what causes people to give up in that short span or long span? Okay. In this period of waiting, that is when you make your prayer, you mm-hmm. make your request before God mm-hmm. and you are waiting mm-hmm. for the answer. Yeah. Now, let's go back to our daily people, how we interact. Mm-hmm. Today, I might do something, I might promise you something. Yeah. But between the promise day, and the delivery date mm-hmm. which is not said mm-hmm. now you'll be in a waiting moment okay but now what should one be doing mm-hmm. in this kind of waiting moment because many people they just sit down and they wait okay and you don't forget but i think that's that's how people perceive it to be easy because assuming you're waiting for a bus to come pick you somewhere you always sit down because you want to reserve the energy mm-hmm. so that it finds you uh enough energy to take you to the next and i think there is more to waiting mm-hmm. so uh, what are these more somebody might be asking i've waited for about a month i've prayed for about an year I've prayed for about five years or ten years and it seems like the lord is not answering my prayer and i want to understand how long must i wait to receive the answer how how long is too long or how much is too much or how enough is too much how is this period based rated to mm-hmm. now the period of waiting is not rated with month week or mm-hmm. a year mm-hmm. it depends how you conduct yourself okay. during this period okay of waiting mm-hmm. let's get a good example like daniel mm-hmm. daniel prayed unto god mm-hmm. his prayer was answered the first, the first day, day. Mm-hmm. but what happened Daniel continued to pray until he got his answer. Okay. That was after 21 days. So many people might have prayed mm-hmm. and uh, truly the answer was released. Okay. But now you might find that there are forces in between receiving of that answer. Answer. So delay Which, delay might be because of some factoring forces. Yes, you have some factoring forces because remember the, our battle is not of flesh and blood mm. and the answer it is from god to us so it means that there is a medium okay uh-huh. and this medium this is whereby well, the moment daniel continued to pray mm. even god himself had to ask but i answered this man 
angel go and check so mm-hmm. this is what happens when you pray and god releases your answer mm-hmm. now before god he has already answered yeah but you you have not received okay so now between this period what made daniel to continue to pray because daniel was determined mm-hmm. until he gets the answer okay now what does today many people do mm-hmm. because they pray and now after they pray they just sit down yes what can i tell you this evening you should pray and continue praising on so sometimes uh, when we are blaming god for not answering our prayers it might be that the lord answered the prayer the first day we asked him yes if our heart was so given to him because mm-hmm. uh, there is there is the will of god yes to do something yeah maybe today god is willing for you to receive that baby you have been praying for or to receive that job that you have been praying for or to receive that something you've been expecting the lord to do for you he answered you long time ago mm-hmm. but there are forces and spiritual dimensions that are fighting the delivery of your promise yeah uh, like abraham and sarah anna uh, rebecca and isaac yeah they was waiting mm-hmm. but god had given them a promise yeah so what do you think are the reason why people give up because i i believe most of us give us give up at the at the gate of our blessings very true many people when you are almost brave you are almost getting the breakthrough they give up and do you know that this is a weapon mm. that the devil uses mm-hmm. to ensure that the children of god do not enjoy so called salvation the privileges yes because remember when you be born again mm. you become a child of god mm-hmm. at the same time you become a son yeah. so if you are a son then you are an heir okay in the kingdom mm-hmm. therefore you are entitled to everything good but now remember there must be a transfer from spiritual mm-hmm. to physical Mm-hmm. Yes. Everything that you are praying it is in the store of God. Yeah. He releases it. Mm. But now the delivery has to come through men. Through men. These things they are in men. Yeah. If it is something you are been praying God. Mm. If you are it is something that you, let's go to a child. Mm-hmm. When you pray for a child, you are trusting God for a child. Mm-hmm. Now we talk about faith here. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh now this it is a faith plus an action an action then you get a result a result mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but now we have these people who pray but there is no action mm-hmm. okay when we talk about action look at this man called abraham mm-hmm. abraham when he was promised a son it reached to a point he went back to god and asked god god you promised me a child mm-hmm. because he was still he was just waiting mm-hmm. for god to give him a, a, a son So I think um, what made these people be persistent and continuous is uh, they had a vision and they had a goal. Mm-hmm. Because the Bible say where there is no vision people cast off restraint. Yeah. So if you are praying or waiting for something that you are not so much attached to mm-hmm. that you might cast off your persistence, your consistency. Mm-hmm. And at the end of it it lengthens the days of waiting mm-hmm. instead of reducing them. Mm-hmm. So if we can wait on something in prayer and continue to pray over them, mm-hmm. the release will be quickened. I But really- if we give up like assuming we are going into a seven day fasting and praying and we're expecting God to do something on a Sunday, like we have put God on a time stamp. Yeah. So what happens is when you give up on Friday then we are meant now to go another extra mm-hmm. because remember Daniel the answer to this prayer the release of Israelite from captivity was given the first day yeah but he had to had another 20 days yeah to battle mm-hmm. before the final reception mm-hmm. so the release the release is day one mm-hmm. but the receival is day 20 mm-hmm. uh, that's crazy so it means that it is a battle So when we talk about prayer mm. prayer is not something like an his thing no remember prayer is a battle you are in a battlefield mm. it is either you win or you lose or you lose now what happens what would happen if i know this was a promise god gave to abraham and said mm. your children will be slaves in this 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 periods yeah but what would have happened if daniel stopped praying they could continue to be in captivity So I think the, uh, the secret will not have been released exactly. and no one will have known. And I remember because they had already passed mm-hmm. their years there plus mm-hmm. 30. Mm-hmm. 
Remember, the more you pray, mm. God himself, he reveals things which are hidden to you. Mm -hmm. So, the moment you are praying and you are not giving up, you are praising on. Mm -hmm. Look at this woman, Hanini, was it Hannah? Mm -hmm. She prayed. When she went to the altar of God, she was given her offerings mm -hmm. and her children's offerings, mm -hmm. which she, she didn't have. But she went to God and she prayed and she cried. Mm -hmm. Year by year. But because she continued and continued, mm -hmm. one day it came, she cried bitterly. Mm -hmm before God and she made a vow before God mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what meant her to make this vow because there is a secret that God laid in her heart mm -hmm. that made her to do that yeah through this prayer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so which meant now the answer of this prayer so today as a Christian mm -hmm. why are we why did Jesus say that pray without ceasing because it is a continuous thing yeah so you should not time god when you are praying mm. all you need is to have faith in him mm. you know there is faith and there is assumption there is faith and assumption, assumption. and they all look alike so how, how do you differentiate that to somebody <laughs> who does not know <laughs> you know uh, have you ever heard somebody say that i pray if god wills to give me he will give me i pray i know by its own time, it will happen. So assumption is, is like a point you are not of, sure of doubt. You have, an, you have and, doubt in and you. And Bible say whoever doubts receives nothing from the Lord. Exactly. And now that's where... So why would, why would you go to prayer and, and fast if you have doubt in your heart? You know, it, this kind of assumption thing... becomes noise before God. Yeah, this kind of assumption thing, when you are starting, you feel like, like it is... You are doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. But the moment you come out, now you are the words that you start speaking, they deny what you are doing. So it, 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 it is like now you are conflicting against yourself. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Even if you are, if, even if you are praying for something, you are not sure of. The, do you know what the Bible says? It says that you pray and you believe you have it. Mm -hmm. So getting, you have to receive it by faith even before you see it mm -hmm. and you own it. Mm -hmm. Now that is what will bring it to come. But mm -hmm. as long as you don't own it in yeah. prayer, mm -hmm. it can never come. As like faith is a substance of things hoped for as an evidence of things not yet seen. Mm -hmm. So if you're hoping for something, you have to pray with it in faith like I have touched it and I know I will have it. Mm -hmm. And that's how you receive your blessings. Mm -hmm. So as we conclude, what do you think a person should do? One, you should never stop praying when you are in prayer, mm -hmm. despite the time. Number two, remain focused on what you need or what you're trusting God for. Mm -hmm. Number, th number three, Keep your faith high mm. despite of the challenges that come. Yep. And lastly, remember, no faith, you cannot please God. Only in faith mm. and prayer, you can please God. Awesome. Yeah. That's, that's power packed. What I think you should do as you're waiting on God, never give up. Press on, continue pressing. And if this is a need in your heart that is so deep, you will continue pressing regardless of what comes your way. So stay blessed. In the season of waiting, there is molding. And molding perfects you to become the best vessel for that blessing you are waiting God for. Continue waiting on the Lord. The Lord never slacks. He never sleeps. He never slumbers. He's always ready to answer you when you are ready to hear Him. Have a beautiful time. Thank you. And if this statement this podcast has donated with you kindly don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment and share with your friends so that we can reach a broader community and blessing be a blessing to other people thank you for watching and thank you for staying tuned to live nation till next time see you and thank you wow <laughs>